welcome to Drum Chapel St Andrew's Virtual Church. I hope things are good with you and I hope that everything is going as well as it can for now. Our plan is to bring Virtual Church to an end on the 20th of June. So we still have around about another month or so, but over the past 15 months, every Sunday we've had Virtual Church and as restrictions begin to lessen, the plan is to bring that to an end. But thank you so much for being part of our church family online. I hope that you will stay connected with us. I hope if you're nearby, then maybe you will choose to come and be part of our church on a Sunday. Uh, we're at 11 o'clock every Sunday. We have no numbers restriction now. And on a Sunday, now we can get around 70 people allowed for social distancing at the moment. And hopefully as things begin to open up a bit more over the summer, then we can find ourselves back to normal. But uh, that's still to come. But thank you so much for checking in, for being part of our church family online. And it is good to connect with you today. Uh, just a heads up, this week is the Church of Scotland General Assembly. That's the body that make the significant decisions for the Church of Scotland. And it started yesterday. It will go on right through the week. For the first time in the whole of my ministry, I will be speaking at the General Assembly tomorrow. Uh, that's Monday. And I have brought a motion which, if passed, will permit ministers to register and allow them to conduct same-sex marriages. If you want to check that out, you can find it on the Church of Scotland website and it does have a live stream. It's all online this year, so I'm not absolutely sure how the, the live stream works with that, but the motion will be heard on the afternoon session on Monday and that's around four o'clock it should be beginning so I appreciate your thoughts and prayers for that as always I invite you to pause me and to click on the links for our various songs and videos throughout the service our theme for today is wind beneath my wings and today is Pentecost Sunday so please pause me and listen to our first song, All Over the World. Do you like surprises? I want you to pause me and watch our next video, which is a dog video. And the expression on this dog's face is just amazing. There are good surprises and there are not so good surprises. Surprises can change your life. With bad surprises, I guess you have to find a way of dealing with them and just making sure that they don't knock you off track. Good surprises can help you see things in a different way. They can inspire you, energise you, give you a new start. A few years ago, there was a really good advert with Elton John and it showed him having his Christmas surprise, which was a piano. And you see from there where that led. Surprises can change your life. There is a power that we have in our lives. In Star Wars, it's called the Force. We call it faith. It's a power that sparks us and makes us come alive. It helps us to be the best we can be. In church today, we're thinking about a time called Pentecost, where Jesus' followers discover that power and get a sense of how awesome they can be. Let's do a prayer. 
God's surprises can be exciting because they can help us to discover something beyond what we ever thought. Today, I want to discover that power in me that will spark me and help me to see just how amazing I can be. Amen. And please pause me and listen to our next song, which is Everything at Once. Please make yourself a part of our prayer. God, every moment I step into the unknown, even when I think I know exactly what lies ahead of me. Every moment opens a new possibility, an encounter, a conversation, a challenge, an adventure, a change of heart, a decision, a new way of seeing. Every moment I have something to learn. I have somewhere to go. I have an opportunity to grow. I am aware that often I try to keep things the same. To stay in a place I feel comfortable. Every moment brings a reminder that it is in stepping out that I discover even more of who I can become. Today, I am open to my future, to the best future I can create. I access the power I have within. I ignite it and I feel the energy it gives me. I recognise that we are all connected. When I come alive, I spark those around me into life. When I love, I spark those around me to love. When I see with clarity, I spark others to see with clarity. When I change the world, I spark others to change the world. Today, I send love and I send care to those in my thoughts. I reach out to those who have lost someone they love. To those who are in hospital or unwell. To those awaiting surgery or the results of tests. to those who fear what the future holds. I reach out to those who are anxious, to those who find it hard to forgive themselves, to those who are afraid, to those who have hard choices to make. I know that the energy I send out can change lives, situations, scenarios. I send energy to all setting out on new journeys, writing new chapters, looking forward to new adventures. I am grateful for all who love, 
support and care for me. A thought for a real peace between Israel and Palestine with justice and compassion. A thought for the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland and for tomorrow's decision on taking a step closer to inclusion. Amen. Our Bible story for today comes from the book of Acts at chapter 2, reading verses 1 through 6, and it's a story of Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost came, all the believers were gathered together in one place. Suddenly, there was a noise from the sky which sounded like a strong wind blowing and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then they saw what looked like tongues of fire which spread out and touched every person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to talk in other languages as the Spirit enabled them to speak. There were Jews living in Jerusalem, religious people who had come from every country in the world. When they heard this noise, a large crowd gathered. They were all excited because all of them heard the believers talking in their own languages. And here's a story from the Song of the Bird called The Truth Shop. I could hardly believe my eyes when I saw the name of the shop. The Truth Shop. The salesman was very polite. What type of truth did I want to purchase? Partial? Or whole? Well, the whole truth, of course. No deceptions for me. No defences. No rationalisations. I wanted the truth. Plain and unadulterated. He waved me to the other side of the store. The salesman then pointed to the price tag. The price is very high, sir, he said. What is it? I said, determined to get the whole truth, no matter what it costs. Your security, sir, he answered. I came away with a heavy heart. I still needed the safety of my unquestioned beliefs. Please pause me and listen to our next song, Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. The images in today's story are incredibly powerful. Wind and fire. Two of the elements that the ancient Greeks believed everything was made of, the others being earth and water. Wind and fire. Powerful. Dynamic life-changing, gentle. I love the song, Wind Beneath My Wings. 
and it works for today's story. The wind beneath your wings enables you to soar. You still have to fly. You still have to learn how to catch the wind. It doesn't do it all for you. But it takes what you have and intensifies it. Exhilarates you. Transforms you. Watch a bird flying. Catching the wind. It's not like a paper bag blowing about in the wind. It's beautiful, inspiring, liberating. You don't know what the wind will bring. A gentle breeze on a hot day. Or a storm, unpredictable, invigorating, scary, bracing, exciting. I love chaos theory. Ironically, chaos theory doesn't indicate that everything is random, but that everything is interconnected. Pentecost appears chaotic, inexplicable, and in a sense it is, but there is more to it. It is about inspiration, spontaneity, connectedness. Everyone feels the wind in a different way. They are inspired, ignited in a way that is unique to them. Everyone is touched by this. Everyone hears in their own language, totally individual and totally connected. Please pause me and watch our next video. It's a paper plane. You can create a paper plane, but you don't know how it's going to fly. You don't know how it'll catch the wind. What'll happen once you let go? It's not random though. You aren't just throwing a bit of paper out of the window. The plane is created to fly. You are created to fly. Pentecost doesn't tell you what will happen next. It does tell you it can be amazing. Through history, there have been moments that have changed the world. One of those moments was Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, delivered at the Lincoln Memorial in August 1963. The I Have a Dream part of the speech wasn't the first time King had used those words. They hadn't had the same impact before but they hadn't gone unheard. Martin Luther King had not intended to use the dream image in his Lincoln Memorial speech. It wasn't written into it. But as he was speaking, Mahalia Jackson shouted from the crowd, 
tell them about the dream Martin. There are moments that change your life. I've got some toothpaste. Colgate Expert Complete. It says deep and instant whitening. But if you look carefully, you'll see a little asterisk there. That asterisk takes you to the small print on the back. And there it says, effect is temporary. Do you know, maybe that's okay. Maybe things don't have to be forever. Even things that change your life. You'll possibly laugh at this, but when I was a student, I was pretty conservative. I didn't do things like protests and demonstrations. I was 47 when I went to my first demonstration. It was at the Glasgow Girls' time, in support of asylum seekers. It was something so important that I couldn't just believe in it. I had to do something. In all my years as a minister, I have never spoken at the church's general assembly. Tomorrow, I will present a motion to allow ministers to conduct same-sex marriages. It is so important that I can't just believe in it. I have to do something. And I will feel something more than me when I do it. I will feel the wind beneath my wings. Please pause me and watch our next video. It's called Proud Parent. Sometimes you have to learn to show what you feel. Sometimes you just know that you can't hide. Catch the wind beneath your wings and fly. When Jesus died, the disciples hid. A couple of months later, at Pentecost, they are on fire in front of a huge crowd. Centre stage, the wind beneath their wings. Perhaps this is your time to fly. It may be just for a moment, but it will change your life forever. Birds don't fly 24-7. But they know they can when they need to. Spread your wings. Live the moment. Catch the wind beneath your wings. Moments don't last forever. But what they bring you does. Roald Dahl said, and above all, watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you, because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. 
those who don't believe in magic will never find them. Let's do a prayer. God, I am used to Pentecost following Easter by a couple of months. It's just natural order. But the first Pentecost was out of the blue, unexpected, a surprise. Who would ever have thought Today, the moment I catch the wind beneath my wings or feel the fire in my heart may be out of the blue, but I need to be ready to embrace it when it comes. It may not last forever. It may not need to, but it will change my life forever. Amen. And please share for a moment in a moment for reflection. The bit of music that we're going to listen to for that is river flows in you. Thank you so much for checking in today, for being part of our Pentecost service. I hope that you will have a really good day and I hope the week ahead will be a really good one for you. We're going to finish off by listening to Search for the Hero Inside and I've also linked our closing prayer may God's blessing surround you today have a good week take care